With so many of us on camera virtually as part of our daily routine, it's no surprise thousands of people are deciding to make changes to the way they look. One popular tweak is sharpening the chin and jawline. In some cases, non invasive procedures can produce immediate results. NBC 10's Sydney Long shows us how it works and what to be mindful of. With nothing to do but stare at our own faces on dozens, if not hundreds, of FaceTime, Skype, or Zoom meetings. People are, of course, on Zoom all the time. Um, so people essentially are on camera at home for work. With it, the hide behind your mask to recover, beauty procedures continue to boom. An area that's trending across social media is the chiseled chin and more elegant and defined jawline. Our medical visits have been down this year, but our cosmetic business has been up 20, 30 percent compared to last year. Hey. Patients like Vicki Portman of Doylestown. I, I just don't like to see gravity on myself. Patients who had thought about doing this for a long time and maybe were reluctant to do it, um, now they feel like, okay, if I do this now, I can cover up with the mask if I'm out in public. Dr. Stephen Hess, a board certified dermatologist, says with most chin and jawline fillers, it, it actually can extend the jawline. There could be slight bruising, but no real downtime or recovery. This is such a great self esteem booster, especially for spring. And with the world slowly opening back up, more and more people are craving a confidence boost. I think people are anticipating going back into the world, back into the workplace, back out to, uh, you know, into restaurants and, and visiting friends and family they haven't seen for a while. So. There is one caveat related to COVID. And there have been reports of patients who've developed swelling and redness at the sites of the previous filler injections. Even if the fillers were injected months ago, Sometimes this reaction can happen. Hess says it's not an allergic reaction to the filler and not an allergic reaction to the vaccine. He says the reason doctors think this happens is people's immune systems get excited about the vaccine. It's also not unique to COVID. Similar filler irritations have happened with flu shots over the years. Um, and what we're telling our patients is number one, if they've had filler, they should still certainly go and get their COVID vaccine. It's um, these reactions are very, very rare. And we put a little bit on each side. Portman has not had the vaccine, but says she's not concerned if and when it's her turn. So the moment of truth, I'm going to hand you the mirror. Are looking at me about yeah. five years ago. Her results? It's subtle. Better me. Portman hopes 2021 will feel like a comeback for everyone. The masks are off. We're all healthy, happy, and better looking. Reporting from Center City, Sydney Long, NBC 10 News.